all right so hello everyone thanks for tuning into this video i'm so glad to have you guys here i feel like i haven't done a decent makeup video in a while at least in my opinion so here we go so i'm gonna be honest this makeup look did not turn out the way i thought it was gonna go but we are riding with it so if you guys like this look and you want to see how i did it be sure to stay tuned in this video don't forget to like it subscribe and share so you guys don't miss out on all the videos that i have coming out to you guys so yeah let's go ahead and get into the video okay you guys let's go ahead and get started i've already um cleansed my face and i used some exfoliator because it was a little patchy so I'm just gonna take these off first and now I'm just going to go in with this um, cover effects uh, blurring primer so we're gonna use a little bit of that and I really want to keep this um, look pretty natural you know it's just like an everyday little look so I don't really want to um, go too overboard or anything like that so that's about all I'm used I'm just going to get that on there. I love the way this feels on my face. I'm gonna put that there. Anyway, it still feels a little bit dry, but it's not a big deal. All right. Mm, that looks good to me. Alright, so now I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal True Match Foundation. I'm using the color C7 um, Cool. Just give that a nice little shake. And I usually I don't use brushes to do my foundation, so I figure why not go ahead and try it today. So if that don't work, I'm going to go back in with this one. I have used this one right here to do my foundation. This is the Bare Minerals Perfecting Face Brush. It's made so you can put like little drops in there. But I'm going to try this right here. So we're going to see how that works out. Let me just get a little plate to put my foundation on. And I'm not trying to use like a lot of foundation or anything like that. Um, just because, you know, I'm, I'm really not... Ooh, okay. So this brush definitely picks up a lot of product. So... Need to be careful with that. Definitely. I think I was just almost able to do like half of my face with just that little bit that I definitely need a little bit more work than I'm used to. I'm used to using my beauty blender uh, to blend out my foundation, but you know, I just wanted to try to do something different. I'm trying to step out of my comfort zone. Since I still have some of this on my plate, hopefully it don't dry up. I'm probably going to use that to help um, clean my I <laughs> probably going to use, I can hear my husband sing it. I'm probably going to use that to um, clean up my eyebrows too, once I shape them up a little bit. I mean, I think that's looking pretty good to me. I don't know, can you guys hear my husband? I think this room might be right over the room he's in, so if you guys can hear that. He's down there playing the video game, and he has the baby down there, so it's entertaining the baby. Okay, I know it felt like I was just like blending that out forever, but that looks pretty good to me, if I would say so. Let's see. Now I'm just actually gonna be just using the products that I had inside my makeup bag. Let's see. Do I have a concealer in here? Yeah, I didn't even check this stuff out before I got started. I need to do better. All right. So I don't have a concealer in here, so let me hurry up and get one. Then I'm going to go in with this um, Amazing Cosmetic Hydrate Concealer. I don't know if you guys can see that. But it's a little bit more hydrating than normal concealer. So I'm just going to go in with a little bit of this. And this is in the color Light Caramel. So I'm not going to use too much because I don't want it to be, um, you know, too bright under there. So I'm just going to just add just a little bit under there and i don't have a beauty blender out so i guess i'm going to go back in with that same um brush and i'm going to use that to try and blend this out this is what you call not being prepared for your own video oh well it's life all right so going in with this this is just like a generic brush i got this from baby bear cosmetics 
and it's actually a really nice brush like look at that and as you guys can see it's actually doing a really really good job of blending that concealer out and because it's um pretty hydrating I don't have to worry about it drying out so fast look how easy that blended out you guys perfect all right so I'm gonna go ahead and get both of these sides blended out because yes so I think we're probably gonna just go pick out some Halloween costumes or something today so I'm not trying to go in there looking like it's Halloween already so let me try to keep this pretty neutral if I may say so myself and right here in the center of my forehead just want to blend that don't ask me about my techniques because I don't know or anything like that. Um, I just kind of do whatever seems to work uh, pretty well for me. Let's go ahead and pinch that right down the center. Alright, so that looks pretty good to me. What do you guys think? That looks. I think that looks really decent. Alright, so moving on let's see what else we have in here now i know i said i'm just going to use the products that i had inside of my um makeup bag already but i do want to use i don't know if i want to use this brow contour pro or if i want to go with this mac in the color spiked i don't know i don't know it's not going up Okay, I think I'm going to use the Brow Contour Pro. Alright, so I'm going to start off with, I need a spoolie. Oh, gimme, 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 gimme. There's one. Alright, so I'm going to start off by just uh, brushing my eyebrows up. Um, I haven't trimmed them or shaped them up, so we're just going to see what we end up with by the time I get done. And I'm not using any setting powder or anything like that because... Honestly, all the setting powders that I have have major flashback, and I just realized it. Um, last time I, I actually recorded another video, and I went to take the pictures for it because I don't use setting powder a lot. So I used it, and oh my goodness, it was so bad, you guys. It was so, so bad. Like, I looked like a ghost. I'm going to actually include a picture, so y'all check that out. But yeah it was really bad like I really think the eye makeup came out really good but I looked I looked like somebody's ghost somewhere it was that bad so like I said I'm just um trying to brush these eyebrows into some kind of shape and this is a little bit hard for me because I ain't got my glasses on so I'm a little blind got some light that ain't helping all right so let me just move that over there I'm gonna move my mirror a little bit closer to me so I can see what I'm doing and I'm just going to go in and uh, fill my brow in a little bit. I'm going in starting with this dark shade. Uh, there's no name to it. It just says deeper shade. So I'm going to go in and use that. Alright you guys. So now the eyebrows are done. This is as good as it's going to get. So I'm not even going to fight <laughs> with it no more. So we're just going to go ahead and move on to the eyeshadow um, palette. And so in my little makeup bag. Like I got so many of these um, <laughs> and I just put up what was in there. We're going to be using the Element of Surprise palette by Colourpop. So this is what the colors look like right here. So I'm going to really be sticking to like these like neutral colors and like these like browns. And I might dip into um, either this color right here. It's called the Feels or down into Blank Canvas. I think I'm reading that right or blank canvas um, and then we'll just kind of see what we end up with all right so let's move some of this stuff out the way because I got stuff everywhere all right let's get some blending brush all right so I'm gonna go on with some of these Luxie brushes I'm gonna be using a Luxie 229 tapered blending and I'm also gonna be using their 231 small tapered blending and I want to use another one This is a really nice fluffy one. This is a 205. I don't know. And we might use the, uh, the 205. Alright, so 
we're going to go ahead and get started. The first color I'm going to go in with is this color right here. It's called Labyrinth. You see that? And I'm just going to take a nice uh, fluffy, make sure there's no colors coming off on it, fluffy brush, uh, the Luxie 205, and I'm going to apply that to the entire eye area. And that is ooh, very. Okay, now using that same brush, I'm going to go in with this color right here. This is called Go With The Flow. It's a nice, kind of like neutral, beigey kind of color. So I'm going to try to pick up a little bit of that. Come on. And I'm going to go in, starting a little bit lower than I did with this first color. And I'm also going to blend that over the entire uh, lid area. That is definitely... We're getting a little bit more pink than I thought it would. Ooh. Mm. Yeah, it's definitely coming off a little bit more pink than I thought, so I'm probably going to go in with um, another color. I really wasn't trying to go for, like, pink. I was trying to go for more browns and neutrals, but it's fine. I'll work with it. All right. So like I said, since this wasn't really the color I thought it was going to be, I'm going to go in now with this color right here called Details. This um this looks a little let me swatch that really quick. Yeah, that's closer to what I thought. It's a more tan brown looking color. And I'm actually going to put this over just the entire lid area. Yeah, that's much better. Okay. Now, I think, I don't know, do I want to go with this color or this one? Hmm. Hmm. Or this one. Okay, I think I'm going to go in now with this color right here called Silk Street. I don't know if you guys can see it. Sorry about that. And I'm just going to apply that just to the middle of my eye. I'm going to go in with a smaller brush. I'm going to use this uh, Luxie 231 Small Taper Blending Brush. And I'm going to just add that just right to the center of my eye. And instead of like blending it on, I'm just going to kind of pat that on. And actually I'm going to use my finger because I think I can get Oh yeah, much better. I'm just going to use my finger and kind of like pat that on right in the center. Then I'm going to use this color up here. It's called Late Night. And I'm going to put that right into like the uh, crease of my eye. Going out to like the corner just to deepen that up some. Oh yeah, that's very pigmented. So. So it turned out like this palette was more full of like berry colors than I thought it was going to be like but yeah, it's fine and we'll tap into this down here okay so after that I did kind of go back into this um, sea stars color so I can get a little bit of that uh, late night and then some of the sea stars Then I just want to put that just right there in the crease. You see it? It's right there in the crease. Now I know it looks harsh right now, but I am going to go back and like blend this out. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye really quick. Now going back with that big fluffy brush, I'm just going to go through and just lightly kind of like blend that just to get rid of like that super harsh line that we had. So yeah. And then kind of let that like blend up. So we're just going to keep on blending until it's not so harsh looking. And I kind of lost some of that shimmer that I was going for. So I'm going to add just a little bit more. Oh, 
Okay, and so now we're done with that part. I'm going to take, where did it go? Is that what I was using? I'm going to take that small blending brush again and this color up here called Rayon. This right here, I'm going to get just a little bit of that. I want to add that. That did not come off the way I thought it was going to come off. I mean, maybe if I try with my finger. I'm trying to get it. Can you guys see it? I'm just putting it right here. It's like this iridescent uh, purple color. I know you guys, I know I said I was trying to go for more neutral color, but and I didn't want to keep switching palettes, so I was like, I'm just going to use whatever's in this palette. Okay, and now I'm just to go under my brow bone and take a little bit of that very first color I had again. I'm going to add that up here just to kind of blend those shades. Okay, so now where is that other brush I wanted to use? I'm just going to take this brush right here. It's just a generic um, brush. It's pretty thin and it's angled. And I'm going to just take some of those colors and I'm going to bring them underneath. So the first one I'm going to bring underneath is this deeper color, the Late Night, again. You get a little bit of that. And I'm just going to bring that right underneath the eye. And I'm going to go into that Sea Stars color, that darker purple like it has like a little bit of gold in it and I'm going to put that under more so in a corner area and then I'm going to take one of these fluffy brushes and just kind of blend that just so it's not so harsh Okay, so that's all I'm going to do for the shadow. So I'm going to go ahead and um, throw some liner and some lashes on. And then we'll go ahead and move on to the next step. So, yeah, let's see what we have. Okay, guys, so now I have on the lashes. I have on my eyeliner. And we're just going to go ahead and move into, I'm going to do a little bit of, am I going to do some blush? I'm going to use a little bit of blush. And I'm just going to use this right here. It's this uh, Show Me Your Cheeks by Elizabeth Mott blush. So this is the color that it is. Super cute little color. And I'm just going to go add just a little bit of that in there. So I didn't want like too much of that. Like I just wanted just a little bit of color. And that like worked out really perfectly for me. And now I'm going to go in. Let's see, is this the color I want? With this bronzy. Um. It's like a bronzer, it's a shimmer bronzer. Or if I want to use right here, I'm going to use a little bit of this pure mineral glow with a little bit of the shimmer bronzer. That way I get just a tad of shimmer um, while still getting like a little bit of a bronzy glow. So let me just get I'm just gonna use just generic like fluffy brush. I guess that's what you call it. And I'm gonna open both of these up. Get them both open. All right. So I'm just going to swirl in there a little bit. Tap off the extra. And then I'm going to go into this mineral glow. And just kind of go around my face a little bit. Get a little bit of both of those. I'm just kind of doing like a three around my face. And I know it probably doesn't show up very well on the camera. But it is giving me just a little bit of a... Um, blow it around my face because I'm not really big into like contour and stuff but I do like the way this glowy bronzer looks all right so that's what we have so far and I'm gonna go in I don't even think I've used this this is a cargo HD highlighter yes this is their picture-perfect highlighter in the color bronze and if I can get it open. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Let's see, can I swatch that for you guys? You see it? 
So I'm going to use just a little bit of that. I don't want to, ooh, whoa. Tap some of that off. I'm just going to sweep a little bit of that onto the cheek. I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. So you see before, you see it. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to take just a little bit of that and I'm going to kind of right down the center and then right there on the tip of my nose. I just want to buff that in. Just buff it in until it looks like a natural glow that would have normally been there. Okay, so, okay, we're going to move on. I'm going to do a little bit of that over my cupid's bow. I know it looks crazy right now. Alright, so we're going to move on into my mystery bag and see what we have in here. For lip colors, we got, okay, I'm going to use this um, Perfect Tone Lip Gloss by Black Radiance. This is in the color, does it say? It doesn't say. It doesn't say, but that's kind of like the color of it. I'm going to use that. We got some lip balm. We're also going to use a little bit, hmm, actually no, I'm not going to use that because this is a little bit too pinky. I already got more purpley pink on my eyes than I want. So I'm actually going to go on with this um, mix or NYX, uh, whipped, fuet, I don't know what that means, whipped, um, in the color cocoa bean. I'm going to use that and I'm going to line my lips. I don't want to really say line, but I'm also going to use from um, NYX their High Vultures Lipstick in the color Dirty Talk. So I'm going to use both of those, and then I'm going to top it with this right here. This is from, I think, Dirty Little Secrets. Yeah, Dirty Little Secrets in the color Nude Beach. Alright, so first thing we want to do is because my lips are bone dry, I want to get some moisture to them. So I'm going to add a little bit of balm these lips because they are dry okay okay so now that my lips not dry I'm gonna go in with this see it's like a dark rich like brown and I'm gonna go along the outside so it's like I'm lining them with the lipstick okay now I'm going to go out with the cocoa bean. See, this is like a really kind of like nudie kind of color. See? I'm going to add some of that on there. Don't really need a lot of that. And then clean that up. And then we're going to add just a little bit of this right here. It's like an icing kind of like color. We're going to see it. It's kind of sheer. So it's not a lot of color. And just get a little bit of that on. And that's going to go over the entire lip. Where's my setting spray? I don't know. So now I'm going in with my beauty Project Beauty Spray Set Go to get this a set. And then I'm going to go ahead and, I don't know, maybe put my hair in a ponytail or something. And then I'll come back to you guys and show you guys the finished look. So, you guys ready? Woo! It's brisk. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and get this set and then I'll be back with the finished look. Alright, so I went and took my hair down. Don't know if I'm going to keep it like this or not, but this is the final look. Um, like I said, it's definitely not what I was going for. I was going for more browns and tins and neutral kind of colors, but this palette was just giving me purples and pinky kind of uh, type colors. So I was like, oh well, we're just going to go with it. So this is the final look. Um, if you guys can let me know what you think about it. Um, 
what I can do better. If you guys like the look, you know, drop a comment down below. Let me know, you guys. Um, I hope you really enjoyed the video. I had fun doing it. And I hope you guys have a great day. And yeah, pretty much all that stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video now because now I'm just kind of ranting on and on and on. So yeah, you guys go ahead and have a great day. Again, thanks for tuning into this video. Don't forget to like it, subscribe, and share so you guys don't miss out on all the stuff that I have going. And here I go again, still talking. So the video is going to end in three, two, one. Bye.